I thought it would be good to do an entire lightning talk about Q&A. So uh, I'm gonna be running a quiz, and it's called What's This? And it is the quiz show where we test your knowledge of what this is gonna be bound to in different scenarios. All right? So yeah, <laughs> happy to see that. All right, it's, it's gonna be a little bit tough. All right, uh, eight minutes, so let's start. All right, so we do have some house rules. There's gonna be 10 questions. There will be three possible answers for each question. Please don't shout out your answer. And uh, you can see me for a congratulatory high five at the end, that can be the prize. Also, if everybody just wants to take a look underneath your chair, all right, there might be a scorecard there. There isn't though, so this is also a test of your memory. All right, so let's get going. Question number one. So all of these questions are gonna be within the context of a browser. So in the browser's root scope, what's this? Is it undefined? Is it window or is it null? I'm gonna give you a few minutes or a couple seconds to think about this, the lightning talk. If you answered window, you get one point. All right, congratulations. Question number two, stepping it up. This is a function that is declared in global scope. All it does is return this and then we're invoking the function. So the question is, what's this? Is it window? Is it error? Or is it an empty object? All right, think about it, think about it. If you answered window, you're right. All right, congratulations to everybody. It's gonna get a little bit more difficult. Question number three. This is a strict function declared in global scope. So we're using the use strict statement that changes the way that JavaScript is interpreted a little bit. We're also just returning this from here and then invoking that function. So in this context, What's this? Is it error? Is it undefined? Or is it null? Null and undefined in the same answer. I don't know. It's undefined. All right. Let's keep on trucking. Question number four. All right. So this here, this is another function declared in global scope but you'll notice it does have a capital C on it. That means it's a constructor function. All right, so this is what classes looked like before ES6. Uh, we're using the new operator when we're evoking our function conference here. And so the question is, what's this? Is this gonna be a conference object? Is this gonna be the conference function itself? Or is it null? All right. If you answered a conference object, you're right. That's what it is. All right, question number five. This one's a little tricky. I'm gonna just let you know, all right? Here we have an actual class and we're deriving it from the conference. So we're extending the conference. We're initializing our own constructor so that we're just setting the name and the tagline directly in there. And then we're instantiating that class using the new operator. Question is, what's this? Is it the conference object again? Is it the viewconf object? Or do we get an error? All right. Well, sorry to tell you, we get an error on this. And that's because in JavaScript, if you're extending a class and you're calling a constructor, you have to call the super method beforehand before you reference this. That was a bit of a troll, I'm sorry. But <laughs> let's keep going. All right, good question. All right, question number six, we're almost there. All right, this is a button, all right? And we're using the onClick attribute. Looks a lot like view, but this is just plain old uh, HTML JavaScript. And we're gonna be alerting the value of this when we click the button. So when we click that button, what is this going to be? Is it window? Is it undefined? Or is it the button element? All right, think about it, think about it. If you answered the button element, that's what it is, that's right. When a function is invoked as though it was just JavaScript inside that attribute, this is gonna be bound to the element that it's a part of. All right. Question number seven, this one's a beefy question, pretty big. We got that same button, but we also have a script section here, and in that script what we're doing is we're pulling the button out of the DOM, assigning it to the constant variable 
the button, we're declaring a function in global scope called show this that runs that alert. And then we're adding an event listener to the button so that when we click it, we're gonna be running the show this. The question is, of course, what's this? Is it the window? Is it the button? Or perhaps it's undefined. All right, thinking about this, what is it? If you answered the button, congratulations, you got that one right. All right, question number eight. Who would have thought this could be so many different things? I think everybody. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got a function declared in global scope here called ask. It returns this question. And then we have another object literal here that's being defined called Colin. The question is, what's this? And then we're adding ask to it as a property as well. Then we're invoking that function on the colon as though it was a method. The question is, what's this? All right, feels like a trick question. I promise it's not. Is it colon? Is it error? Or is it the window? Window is always an option, remember. Uh, if you answered colon, you're right. So whenever we want to know uh, what this is going to be bound to when we're invoking a function as though it was a method, uh, just look to the left of the dot. And that's what this is going to be. All right. Question number nine, almost done. All right, question number nine. Here we have that same ask question here. All right, so it's declared in global scope. We've got it returning this question. And we have a constant uh, duckling, which is an object literal again, with the question, are you my mother? Now this time, remember that functions are also objects in JavaScript because everything is, and it has a method called call. And then we're gonna be passing duckling into that, and that's how we're gonna invoke ask this time. Question is, what's this? Is it Colin from our previous question? <laughs> All right, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, is it window? All right, remember, window's always an option. Or is it the duckling? All right. Well, if you answered the duckling, you got that one right. So over at the first argument passing to call is the this argument, which will bind that, uh, that object to the this value and allows you to control it like that. So we're going to skip over bind and apply. We don't need that. All right. Uh, question number 10. This is our last question. I hope everybody's enjoying this and doing well. This is a tough one. This is a tough one, let me tell you. All right, so we've got an object literal here called proto, and it's got a function in it called sum, and all it does is return the summation of this A and this B. Now we're using object.create to create an object using proto as its prototype, and that's gonna give us back the instance. We're sending the value of A and B to two, three and two respectively, and then calling sum Again, on instance as though it was a method. Here we go. Last question, is it that proto object? Is it the prototype of instance? Or is it the instance itself? All right. Well, if you answered instance, you got it. That's right, congratulations. Always just look to the left of the dot. It doesn't really matter if we had to travel up the prototype chain at all. Uh, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be instance, all right. And uh, thanks for playing. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, and my time is up. <laughs>